organized the charity performance round our way. And just to book things up a bit, we are putting on a play. So if I go mad and bite me nose, please don't count out the least. Because I've got to learn to be the villain of the piece. I'm the bad lad of the drama, and I've got to learn to be fast. They told me I've got to be villain and still, so I've got to go round and learn how to build. I saw a nice girl at the corner. I kissed her and then ran away. I wouldn't have done it, but I've got to be a wrecker of lives in the play. Yes, when we took this idea, they said, now the villain will have to wear a big moustache and keep saying Jack and, and Curtis. And in the third act, we'll have a fight with the hero on the roof of a seven-story building. And the hero will throw the villain off. They said to me, you'll be the villain. Of course, I'd much rather play the hero. It's, it's more in my line, that. You know, rushing out and stopping runaway horses or driving off London Bridge and rescuing females in distress. Easy enough. I've seen it on the pictures many a time. I've got to seize the butcher's wife, and thou she shall be mine. And force her face to kiss me whilst I put a wild wood by. I also practice on the wife, but feel inclined to jib. For when we kiss, she dribbles so. I have to wear a bib. I'm the bad light of the drama, and I've got to learn me fast. And I've got to burgle the cheese under slack. Last night from our bedroom, I slept like a cat. I broke the child's money box open, and I took it three halfpence away. Then I rushed out and gave myself up to the police, cause it's got to be done in the play.